morning. They had the street shut down at the University of Chicago. Police all around the quadrangle. And there's a protest that's been going on since early this morning behind me. It has grown. It has gone on for a couple of hours. 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez has come to the scene. You are encouraging others to join. Yes, I mean, it's, it's uh, really concerning and shameful that the university has uh, rejected the call of 120 faculty at the university. The students here that were protesting peacefully have also access, uh, have been um, accepting the dialogue. So it's really concerning that the university, despite the efforts of maintaining not only the peace and the stability and the security of the students here uh, and the city, has decided unilaterally to use the University of Chicago police and use the force, despite uh, at least another 19 elected officials who join me to ask the university to sit down and discuss with faculty and students so that we do not have the scenes that we have here, or worse, to see the scenes that we see in Columbia University and UCLA. Exactly. A lot of people are concerned. Here in Chicago, we haven't had violence. Uh, it's yet to be known if there are going to be any arrests here. But are you saying that Chicago elected officials can intervene and settle the situation? I think that we all should. We have the responsibility to ask the university to maintain the, the, the peace in city. Uh, we have so much, so many issues right now, and the University of Chicago has a responsibility to discuss with the faculty, 120 faculty, students willing to talk, willing to discuss, but one thing that we cannot do is dismiss what's happening uh, in Gaza, the genocide that we see being played out on live TV that is creating so much unrest. We believe that the president also, the president, president Biden, has a responsibility to discuss with city officials in light of the DNC coming to Chicago, the best way to address this, but creating more unrest, Police brutality. This is not the Chicago Police Department. This is done by the University of Chicago Police. Uh, we think that this is unconscionable to create more unrest when, they have, again, the students and faculty, as well as elected officials, are asking the University of Chicago to sit down and discuss the best path forward. That is a theme. People are concerned about how things are going to be handled later this summer when the DNC is here. Absolutely. And I think this does not help when we have administrators that are turned deaf to the ask of elected officials. We also think that it's not helping when, the, when President Biden and instead of addressing foreign policy in the Middle East, uh, stopping a genocide, especially yesterday when we see announcements of potential a ground invasion in Rafa, this is creating tremendous unrest. The students are right, and history is on their side. The student movements have said that there is wars, never-ending wars, can only create more chaos, not only abroad, but here locally. We believe that this is the path forward, listening to the students that time after time have been right. History is on their side. You did refer to the yesterday, 120 faculty came out and supported the students. The, uh, the, uh, those who represent the encampment say that the talks broke down. Overnight there was a word that this might happen, and I think they kind of had expected it to happen, even though the faculty says that these protests have been peaceful. Yes, unfortunately, the, the talks were broken by the administration, not by the students and faculty. That is the most concerning part. Uh, when faculty and, and students are willing to negotiate and sit down and discuss, uh, especially in academic universities, uh, we have a responsibility to discuss with dialogue and not with repression. When the university president talks about a First Amendment right and he respects freedom of speech, um, this doesn't look like it. The groups who have been helping these protesters and staging protests all over Chicago say this is only going to ramp up more for the Democratic National Convention. That is our concern, that uh, uh, administrators, elected officials were here uh, for dialogue, to discuss. We know that the issue at hand here is the genocide playing on live TV. That is at the core of all this. President Biden, I think, has the quickest way to solve this, by stopping the genocide and demanding that uh, the peace in the region in the Middle East uh, is priority. We do not think that continue this path is addressing anything but creating more and more chaos here. The University of Chicago uh, has asked Acted again, in my opinion, in bad faith, uh, not not allowing uh, the staff, the faculty, and even elected officials to discuss and sit down a path forward. Uh, this is concerning in light of the DNC that we have a ton deaf faculty uh, administration as well as a ton deaf president that is not listening to what most Chicagoans are saying. We want peace in our community and our city. Thank you so much, 25th Ward Alderman Byron Sicho Lopez. There have been supporters here who have run up with supplies, water, and such. But I saw a group uh, carrying. Multiple, multiple bags of what looked like swim goggles. When I was on the front line, there were some volunteers putting like what looked like science lab type goggles on the people who were in the front line. I asked, are you expecting some kind of spray to happen here? And they said, we're just ready.
ready for anything because they had not experienced what happened in that quadrangle uh, described as a pretty aggressive move by campus police. Reporting live at the University of Chicago, I'm Joni Lum. Back to you.